Hi, good morning or good afternoon. My name's Dylan Vignatis and Jan Frank has asked me to put together a short video explaining basically how to use the language gym as a teacher. So this is the landing page that you see. And if you click on manage classrooms as a teacher, it takes you through to this next page. I've blocked out some little bits. I don't mind you guys knowing that I'm at garden school. I think everyone knows that already. And if you then click on manage classroom, that takes you into your, your class. And I'm now gonna just jump across to the actual language gym. Um, so over here, once you're inside the, the class, you've got four different uh, options. Um, number one, you can set an assignment. So I'm going to very quickly set um, four different assignments so you can see. It's gonna be quick, but of course you can pause and go back. So the verb trainer, if I want, I can set a present and imperfect combination with these different pronouns and Just click all regular verbs, basically regular verbs. Next, and then give it title. I've done this combination before. It's actually one of my favorite combinations. And the expiry date just means that at that point, the game will auto archive itself to save you from having a, a big list of games. So this is the verb trainer. And when a student uh, logs on, or if they're in the class, as soon as they refresh, they will see that inside their, their class. The second assignment is a workout. So do something like holidays, activities in the past tense. And then this is actually quite a small one. So I would do select all, but if I was doing a bigger one, like this one, then I may want to set only part of it. You're now able to set either the entire workout or just part of it. So select all of that, save. I want to talk briefly about this score report button. If I click on that score report, I'm gonna go back to the not live version. If I click the score report, I can see the student name, how long they've spent, and then some information about how many attempts have made, how many wrong answers, and their overall accuracy. So I can see that a student like, the way a student like gamba over here, which is a, the Spanish food, or the Italian leg, I don't know what the student was thinking, um, only has 60% accuracy. So I know that there's someone that might need some more support. That is the score report button. And then the final button that I wanted to mention is the students button, I'll say here actually. So on the teacher panel, beside assignments, you have students. If you click on the students, then you can see all of your class name, their emails, and you have some really helpful tools. You can reset their password, which resets their password to password. You can deactivate their account. Um, you can remove them from your classroom. And if they manage to suspend their account, um, in order to do that, they would need to type their password incorrectly 10 times, which I know is crazy, but it can be done. If they do that, then you're still not stuck because you can unsuspend their account from this panel. And that is it really. That is um, the main features that I want to talk about in this short video. I'm gonna keep it short, otherwise it won't be short, it will be long. So those are the main features that I wanted to mention in this um, short episode, which is how to set assignments and then how to check if your students have completed the assignments via the score report and also how to support students who um, get themselves locked out by um, forgetting or typing their password incorrectly. I'll make another video soon about um, the live games feature, just so that this um, tutorial doesn't get too uh, overwhelming. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I hope that this has uh, helped answer some questions and that it's helpful. 
And that is all. Take care. Have a nice day.